this is Geotech Land, and today I'll be playing Uncharted Drake's Fortune on the RPCS3 emulator. I'm pretty much doing a checkup on this game. I've done a video on this once, and it was reading the game and booting it up, but it was very, very slow and unplayable. So I'll be using the Vulcan API my RX 580 and these are the settings I'm using I'm leaving it at 720p native resolution other than that didn't really tweak anything here and so let's get started and so I'm gonna save this um, not sure if I said it in my last video but um, every time I first load the game, if it's the first boot and there's no pre-compiled shaders, it plays uh, very sluggishly. Especially the menu, I have to, you know, exit out of the game and reopen it so that the menu loads pretty smooth. I mean, I don't have to do it, but I mean, eventually the game will get stuck at certain points anyways. That prompts me to restart. So, I always end up, you know, closing the game out, starting all over, or just not starting all over, but loading up the menu. And in general, though, with this game, nothing much has changed. I mean, the only real significant change is that now when I save a game file, it, um, there's, um, it's built into the emulator now where I can just select uh, save without having to like actually use my mouse and like click on a box the sound so right now like i said it's loading at 60 fps but if you first put the game it's really like i don't know maybe like 40 30 ish now i can continue but it's actually not going to take me to the game. It gets stuck when it gets to this part. Search for El Dorado, so I'm actually going to new game here. So this is the save game. This is a little nice menu. This is the biggest difference um, more than anything. So, a few things to note. Again, when I first load the game, it loads sluggish really like at a two to three fps and i don't mean this part this part always is more or less the same this intro scene is just a video so it loads perfectly fine so let me skip movie now like i said right now it looks or it loads like it's loading fine you know, 4 FPS is definitely nowhere near playable, but at least it looks like it'll be easy to progress here. But this is only because I've actually played through this multiple times. So, usually when I very, you know, play this for the first time or boot this part of the game or part of the scene, again it loads, I mean it's kind of staying at 2 to 3 FPS anyway. But it tends to have a habit of getting stuck, so it'll happen soon enough here I'm sure. Which is kind of annoying when f trying to do a recording of it, because um, it may mean that I may have to restart it over and over until I play through it, till the act, till I get to the actual scene that um, freezes or crashes the game. Now I think the only other difference, other than that little save menu I showed you earlier. Is that the game looks a little bit prettier? 
than oh, no, the last no. video. That's very, very slight improvement. Now, according to the RPCS3 website, and they they have they released a video which I may link in the description below. But the game itself is able to get to other parts. I'm gonna assume that that's being done on an NVIDIA GPU, maybe even an Intel CPU. So it seems like this issue where this game runs this slow and it doesn't get to that L, the search for El Dorado scene, it just crashes there. That may only be affecting AMD either GPUs or CPUs. Um, so just keep that in mind that this video is not necessarily how Uncharted performs on RPCS3 but how Uncharted performs on RPS, RPCS3 on AMD or really on these specs that I have. So the game itself is likely able to run a lot better with an NVIDIA GPU. Okay, so, so far it hasn't actually frozen, so this is being recorded in all-in-one playthrough here. So that's refreshing. Here's one other thing to note is that I don't know if it's because of the updates, but I've noticed the AI of the game is a little bit different. Maybe it's just me, but Sully, where are you? you know, playing through these scenes multiple times, checking every week usually for any performance differences. It um I kinda got used to exactly how the pattern's supposed to go. And look, as you can see, it froze so let me close this out and we can see the actual error. So it says class STD runtime error thrown trap. For those of you know that, that know a little bit of C++, that's what this reminds me of. So let me boot up the game again. This is take two. So as you guys saw, the game itself crashed. I showed you guys the error. And to finish off my point, I was noticing that the AI is a little bit different. I do notice a few more enemies than usual. Like there'd be like three sets. Now I feel like there's four sets of like little skirmishes here. So that is pretty strange. I'm just going to assume those are updates. Okay, why aren't these guys dying? Apparently they're invincible too. Alright. So, you guys may be wondering, does it sometimes just freeze like two or three times during this whole scene and with some updates sometimes it'll freeze two or three times but at least with this update it took me when I wasn't actually recording just testing the performance it actually got stuck like seven times or so and I just wanted to get it one through one playthrough before I actually do a recording So I got stuck here last time. All right. I'm hoping there's no more enemies. The next sequence is just the big old truck that just starts shooting at me. And actually that's where it was getting stuck the most.
kind of walk slowly. Just gonna feel like that may help the game not like trying too hard. I don't know if that actually will do make a difference there, but yeah, I figured it's worth a shot. And so once again, it got stuck. Let's see what error it is again. Now it's unknown primitive type 224. That's interesting. All right, guys, this is take three. And I'm hoping. Yeah, so we're just at this last part. So this is the part that I kept repeating over and over, just kept finding a way to get stuck. And oh there's a lot more room for it to get stuck because it won't save or okay, give me a good. checkpoint until this whole sequence is over. So it's the, the longest window of opportunity for it to get stuck. So that's why it's very easy to stay stuck in this scene and have this scene on repeat. So this is actually the last scene of this clip. Everything else from here is just intros. And intros until it's supposed to take me to, I guess, stage two. Search for El Dorado, walking around, all those green trees and all that stuff. But because this is AMD, that scene just crashes my computer. Well, I wouldn't say it crashes, but interestingly enough, HDMI disconnects momentarily and then comes back up. So that's pretty interesting behavior and I'm actually unable to see the error that it gives because our PCS3 um, it, it actually crashes as well so it just shows a white screen and I'm hoping it doesn't get stuck because it's about to go to the other scene and it did get stuck again so this is take 5 probably should have left it uh, when it got yeah, stuck the here. previous time oh, because there's only really 10 more seconds of gameplay before it just cuts to some scenes and once those scenes play out again the game itself crashes so I'm hoping it'll go through this time though so you guys can at least see this all through here and yeah so finally took us only five tries but honestly it took me even longer when i wasn't recording so that is the current state of um, this performance for this game on amd and specifically the amd gpu and cpu that i have here so um, after two months uh, there hasn't been too many improvements for this particular game but the RPCS3 emulator is still in its infancy anyway, so there's a lot more room for improvement. I won't show you the rest of the clip where it crashes because it, it crashes uh, HDMI essentially. And from what I remember, I think the recording stops anyway, so... Thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up here. Give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more of this content, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.